We're here at DMC World Mixing Championships to check out some of the top DJs in the hip hop scene tonight. That's right, you're watching 15, 15, 15, 15. Fabulous, oh, fabulous. Oh, fabulous. Oh, fabulous. Minutes, 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 minutes. 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 Oh my god, the queue is going down around down the back of the alleyway. We've got a couple of, well, you look like a couple of DJ fans here. You into scratching? Not at all. Not at all. So there you go. What about yourself? You guys have got the, well, you got the gear on, haven't you? Yeah. So what brings you here tonight? Uh, just having a look. How did you hear about tonight? Boy. This boy. So what about yourself? Do you scratch yourself? Oh, no, not that much. I've got a few friends that do, but yeah. yeah. Maybe they should get some ointment for that one, you know? Sam Rye, tell us a bit about um, what brings you here tonight. You, you're the defending champion from last year's competition. No, uh, no, I came second last year. Yep. Um, behind Dexter. Okay. Which was um, pretty good. Um, but he came second in Worlds. Yes. So he automatically goes to Worlds because the first place there um, pulled out. Yep. yep. And so it kind of moves up. Yep. So everyone moves up. Do you think up. you've got a good chance this year? Oh, well, who can say? Who can say? Yeah. And what's what sort of what sort of music do you play? Um, mostly hip hop. Um, <laughs> I like all sorts of other stuff, like electronic, basically anything that's funky at the moment. So. <laughs> Has your music style changed from last year? What are you doing differently this time? I think might give you an edge. Um, I don't know. More funky routine, a bit more technical. Uh, I think you might be giving away a few of your secrets. I've, I think you, there's a bit of a bug happening. There's someone eavesdropping. Who wants to know? Who wants to know? Who wants to know? <laughs> nah, you got this bum next to me. <laughs> and where are you based? Uh, Sydney. So you're from Sydney. And what's the scene like in Sydney at the moment? Is it pretty um, competitive? Oh, it's healthy. It is healthy. Um, there's a lot of new dudes. It's over. It's over. Nearly two years now. All right. Well, good luck. Have you played yet? No, nah, not yet. Are you not nervous? Yet. Yeah, he's nervous. Really? Yeah. Oh, this is probably isn't making it much better, is it? Nah. <laughs> okay, kicking backstage here, DJ Nathan from the ACT. Nathan from the ACT. Nathan from the ACT. 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 Now you've gone through your your little state final and you were the winner there, and now you're here tonight for the Australian final. What do you think? Um, I'm pretty excited about it. It's, it's pretty scary. I've never seen so many people, like, ever before. <laughs> like, it's massive, like... So what, back home, doing your state was quite small deal then? Yeah, oh, definitely, compared yeah. to this, it was nothing, like... So you think you're getting nervous then? Yeah, I'm getting pretty nervous. I'm just trying to stay relaxed and keep pretty chilled out. But, yeah, it's a bit hard with that many people. Yeah. <laughs> 
So this is your first time you've actually done this then? Um, I've been in the DMC. I entered first in 99, but... Um, How'd you go with that one? Uh, not too good. Not too good? Well, you made it through this time. Yeah, well, third time lucky, so... So you've had a bit of practice in between those years. Yeah. And what sort of style of music are you doing? What are we in for tonight? Um, uh, I don't know. Just basically some hip-hops, <laughs> some scratching. And, is uh, that your preferred? You uh, prefer hip-hop? Yeah, 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 I prefer it. I, I like chucking in a few different things every now and then, but... <laughs> How many uh, vinyls are you going to be flipping all through the night? How many bits and pieces all up? I think I'm using 11 records, 11. I think, yeah. Six minutes to complete 11 tracks. Is that hard? Um, oh, well, some of them might just be, be a, a sample, but <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, 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 it, it's hard, but it just, it all depends on how you work your set out, how many records you use. You could do it with two. <laughs> I got into scratching and stuff basically before the mixing element, uh, which is a bit weird, usually it's around the other way, but um, uh, four years old, I uh, went down to Glen Waverley Shopping Centre, my parents took me to see the movie Breakdance, and I saw a DJ by the name of Chris the Glove Taylor, four years old, and I was just like, went home, broke Rolf Harris off the uh, shelf there yeah. and the whistleboard straight away. Thing, yeah. yeah, and it had like a stack of records underneath because I didn't have slip mats and I had to make them move. And, and what tunes were you sort of scratching at that stage? Was it bloody Madonna and... No, actually, just after the movie, my mum was sort of like, oh, there's a bit of interest here because I was actually uh, breaking as well with a lot of the high school students who'd come over to the primary school. And um, she went out and bought me the soundtrack and the Beat Street soundtrack and basically she was the one who blueprinted my future for hip hop. Practice in breaking, I think these guys are going to be, oh, you have to be quite flexible for that. Um, how's it going? Not bad. <laughs> Still a bit hard on the back, I reckon. Oh, you give me a step that I think I can try and do. Okay, we're gonna try this one. Okay. Excellent. Hang on. Start again. Oh, hang on. Try like a turtle freeze, then. A turtle freeze. Whatever you finish breaking, you add a freeze. Okay, that looks that looks simple. Go, Steve. Come on, Steve. Oh, I think I've got to hold that. Go, Steve. Hey, Twister, Steve, do you want me to get down underneath you? Right foot, red spot. Why would you do this? Okay, these guys are going to go on stage and we're going to have a look at them doing their stuff. Not bad, not bad. Uh, you did, uh, how do you reckon she did? Uh, she did alright. All right. DJ Charisma, how do you think you went? Well, I could have done a little bit better, I mean, but I'm happy overall, but you know, it, the needle skipped a little bit and it really pissed me off, um, but I did recover and I'm a, bit hap a little bit happy with it, but I could have done better. And how long have you been mixing? Um, Four years. Cool. Yeah. How old were you when you started? Uh, nine, 19 or 18. And how did you get into it? What's the sort of, what's the process to sort of get started and get, you know, into the whole scene? Um, it was a hip hop because I was in the hip hop and, um, and then, you know, I uh, watched the, one of the DMC videos and just got me into the competition DJing and stuff. Be 
pretty proud. You must be pretty proud. I'm pretty proud. I'm pretty proud. I mean, you had to get through the whole the whole selection process in WA. So obviously, I mean, you know, you've done well over there. So it must be pretty sort of nerve-wracking to know that you're up against the best around the nation now, really. Yeah, um, I mean, uh, Perth was like, you know, it was... Mm, there was one, uh, my, my, my main rival was DJ Junior and like, you know, we, me and him have been battling for a while, you know. He came second, I came first, yeah, we've, we've done that a few times and like, you know, it was pretty tough but, I mean, over here is you know, so tough, you know. Yeah, yeah, and what are your next steps now after this? Um, I think getting to more production and like, um, uh, maybe mixtapes and stuff. Um, doing more gigs because I, I don't, I haven't been mixing much, you know. Yeah. Well, we'll take a look at you strutting your stuff anyway downstairs. Okay. Have a break and then we're going to have the Come second on, three. So we're going to see who gets to win the Australian Championship. I want the Melbourne guy to win. Oh, geez, it's also, it's a tough choice. Or, or, or maybe Master. He was a bit cute, wasn't he, really? I think I'm just going to be a rapper and a, and a breaker. I don't think I'm going to really make the cut myself. No, no somehow. I mean, you're just, just making the cut for this show, I tell you. You only just make the cut. Like a kitchen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, the master is the DJ champion of Queensland and you're representing just yourself and you're um, competing in the team based stakes tonight That's as well. That's right, yeah, with um, with uh, my dude over there. We're team uh, Needle Knievel and um, yeah, we just did our uh, team's routine. It sort of went pretty well, so That's fingers good. crossed. That's good. And is it the first year that you've competed in the competition this year? It's my first year down uh, the national level, in yeah. fact. A, yeah, yeah. yeah, is there a bit of a story behind perhaps why you didn't make it here last year? <laughs> there certainly is. This. Um, I managed uh, runner-up at the state uh, DMCs last year, you know, which is pretty good, but you know, the energy you put into it, and I live at Noosa, so I, um, on the way home to Noosa that night I sort of dozed off at the wheel. How long have you been doing it? I'm um, going in DMC since 95, been scratching since 91, and I'm rapping since 89. Yeah, and what's the scene like in Brizzy? Is it sort of out there? Or? Well, I shifted from Brisbane up to Noosa a couple of years ago, um, just to pursue you know, my own individual aspirations as far as hip hop and stuff goes. So I've pulled a little bit out of the scene of Brisbane, but it is growing and it's um, really picking up. And it's not just music, is it? It's, just, it's the whole breakdance thing, it's the it's the graffiti, it's the whole bit. It's the it? whole four elements. You've got your graffiti, you've got your breakdancing, you've got your MCing, and you've got your DJing, of course. And um, that's, yeah, it's a lifestyle. And do you incorporate all of those things into what you do? Yeah, I've... Um, I've been rapping for a long time. Steve, I've told you, you'll go to jail if you keep up Graffiti. that. Do it on paper so it's disposable. It's oh. All right. Um, yeah, so I'm involved in the MC and I've got an album coming out uh, very soon called From Dolchex to Rolex. Yep. Um, and yeah, Triple J, I've been playing a bit of it here and there. And <laughs> the corridors we've got Leo who does his stuff but you don't need a turntable do you? Nah I don't need a turntable, don't need music. Don't it's need music, there. just all in one. How do you do it? I don't know, it's a secret, it's my secret. Now you've come up with, you were here last year as well, yeah. 
and you change the style that you do every year too? Yeah. I, always, I always try to come up with something new, something old school. So, so you write your own music basically? Yeah. You could say. Yeah. yeah. yeah always, always something new. So. so you've been doing this for what, since you were in year eight you were saying? I started in grade six, just doing it, mucking around, and then year eight, I started listening, getting to more music, R and B, and that, and then finally, I done this, so it was all right. Now the crowd absolutely love you; they go totally ballistic. What happens if you're halfway out through and you get a hiccup or something? You I just wanted to belch. No, nah, I just mix it in with a scratch. Oh, you just mix it in. It's that easy. Make the burp sound like a bass. Make the burp sound like a bass. Can you just go? Uh, that was a burp bass. <laughs> okay, what's a hiccup lift then? A hiccup lift? Yeah. Well, you got a burp bass. All right. So, burp. Just been watching G Day Cipher out there mixing it up. Now you were playing a seriously awesome set out there. Yeah, it was pretty different. You know, pretty I did. I, I'm not not happy at all how really? it tonight. Yeah, no. Well, the no. audience were reacting off it, especially no, when you put that track in there and everybody's just like, "Yeah, we're kicking but, on." But I'm, you know, I'm in for a personal view, and I didn't achieve what I wanted to. I've been playing really bad all night. You know, but just you, an do off you think night. you're your own worst critic anyway? Oh no, I just I'm not. I'm not, I'm not I know I'm not playing well. <laughs> Just listening to you out there, I mean, obviously to the trained ear yourself, you're going to know your mistakes, but I find that the audience in general wouldn't have a clue, you know, and their reaction oh, was true. pretty awesome. Oh, true, but as, as I go into these competitions, I'm not in it for uh, other people, you know what I mean, yeah. for myself, and I just, I'm just really displeased with myself, yeah. you know, and I've been feeling really flat and shit. No, but you can always come back next year and go again. Oh, yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely, definitely, you know, but I just, yeah, just go back in and start practicing again. I just So how many, how many routes? routines do you have then? Have you, you've been working on this one for how long? Just for the master here? Yeah, just, just, yeah, just for Deep C, that was it, yeah. And then I'll go back and change it all. I'll probably work on new stuff and those patterns and things like that. But how long does it take to make that piece work? You know, how long have you been practicing for that one little six minute spit? Uh, the, one of the juggles um, was like uh, two months. The second juggle really? was two months, but the, uh, the, the first juggle was only a week. <laughs> Mr. who's one of the judges here tonight, how's it been going down there? Um, yeah, no, it's been a very high standard actually. Uh, the top three, very, very hard to distinguish between, but there was a lot of new things shown tonight, which basically is just saying Australian DJs are next few years. Don't worry about overseas, man. Down under is where it's at. Cutting edge. The risk that they take, though, with trying new things is it could go either way. Do you, you know? Not really. I mean, it's not about how technical you are. It's how you're feeling at the time. Like, too many people start up schools and have courses and learn this scratch, that scratch. But it's just how you're feeling at the time. It's not... It's not something you can learn from a book. It's just hours in the bedroom making weird noises. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And what do you look for in, in basically what what's the criteria? That you well, everyone's different, but for me, originality and composition. If your composition's no good, I'm not interested. And if you're not original, I don't care. Yeah. But, uh, can't give away too many secrets. Yeah. yeah, and do all the judges sort of just judge on whatever they think at the time? Yeah, there's no like comparing between because then you might get like a biased opinion. It's everyone's very independent and are fully qualified to judge so it's a very hard job tonight but uh, hopefully the right person will be announced a winner at the end. I know there's some people from Victoria that'll probably go to England, but I'm not saying if it's in the teams or the solo. Um, who knows? I mean, it's I knew what I voted, but I have no idea what anyone else did. So. I know what I like too, but hey. DJ Reflex, now you've got a little uh, claim to fame, haven't you? 
You won an award? <laughs> I won an award. Yes. <laughs> Tell us um, about uh, it. DMAs, uh, the inaugural DMA, Dance Music Association, um, up and coming DJ of the year. Fantastic. Now, yeah. it's a little bit different tonight because it's a bit more hip hop house. So, are you doing a bit more, are you dance music in there no, or no, are you doing what? Hip-hop. That's straight all I've hip-hop. ever been. Yeah. That's all I've ever been is, yeah, um, pretty much, I think I won the award because of the fact that we just kind of got good quick and so they kind of recognised that and. DMAs is a bit, you know, touch and go with you even get nominated. So how does that help in your career, having all this sort of thing? Obviously, you won your state final, and obviously t- today you may win the Australian final. In in the hip hop world, yeah. um, the D, uh, DMCs means more than that award will ever mean um, because it's in front of people that you know are your crew and you're yeah. representing your crew. It's yeah, it's different to say an award as such. An award's nice because you know they're getting recognised, but yeah, it's better if you. Yeah. So how many years have you been mixing and scratching and stuff? I got two decks when I was 21. I turned 25 next week, okay. so four years. <laughs> I just like the culture, the breaking culture. I knew a lot of graph artists. Do you break? No, I wish. <laughs> I wish. I can't paint. You need to tell it for that, yeah. No, yeah, I was whistle boy. That oh, was okay. that was peace, and I was whistle boy. So. so, what are we in for tonight? What are we expecting from you? Um. How many record changes have you got? Uh, not a huge amount. It's it's basically broken up into three parts. Um, so you tell a story, you sort of do a first section, move on and progress into yeah, it? Yeah, you tend to do what you'll see is uh, guys doing a scratch routine. Yeah. So whether they be manipulating the beat in and out and they'll be scratching some, obviously, sample over that. And also beat juggling um, with two copies of different records and melting them together and that. We're just having a wow of a time. Ah, oh, that's interesting. Hello, how are you? How are you? What have you got to say for yourself? I've got to say that this shit rocks like pit stops. I need an umbrella. I don't know. What? Nothing. Tell me what you really think. I really think that tonight is the maddest night of the whole year. And anyone can get involved in the competition too. If you want to play, basically you got to add your local DMC record place and uh, register because it's open for everybody. <laughs> Who thinks that Troy's going to win this? <laughs> yeah, what is my... This is the moment of truth now. This is the part we've all been waiting for to find out who the Australian winner is. So, here we go. Who's your bet? Hang on, let's just see who you think, Steve. I'll tell you, it's been a tough choice. Tonight has been pretty damn good. Uh, I enjoyed the Victorian, I must say. Queensland are not too bad as well. What about yourself? Who have you liked? I'm a bit, I'm a bit torn as well. I think it's either Melbourne or, or, or Brizzy, so we'll see. We might be totally fingers. off the track. With eight points, all the way from Sydney, DJ Decipher makes a noise. 11 points, and I must say it was very close. <laughs> Victorious own DJ Jalen! Make some noise for Jalen! And the winner is... <laughs> all the way from Sydney, <laughs> DJ Jalen! DJ Jalen! Come on, Melbourne! Were you shocked or what? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. After all those years of practicing and last year as well, you finally made it. <laughs> now you're going big time. See you in London then. Yeah, thanks, man. Awesome. Thanks, Good man. luck with it. You too can be like this boy. I think there are a few disappointed fans out there. You thought Melbourne would get it. I did, I did, yeah. Never mind. Well, thanks for watching. If you want to know more about the show, you can check out our website as well or email us.